my lovelies, I'm going to be sharing with you all my perfumes that I cannot stop wearing. Now I'm going to be listing out and showing you 10 perfumes that I am addicted to, I'm in love with. Some of these fragrances I've been wearing for many years, some are new finds, one is a blind buy. <laughs> so the perfumes I have here are fragrances that I just cannot get enough of. I just keep going back to them. I've bought so many fragrances, like throughout this whole lockdown period, I've still been buying perfumes. Um, I think I need to make a video of all the fragrances I've bought since during lockdown. I think it's absolutely, yeah, <laughs> I need to make this video for you. Um, but there's some fragrances that I have owned for uh, many years and I keep going back to them. I really hope they do not discontinue some of these fragrances. Um, and then some of my fragrances here, oh my gosh, I just love them so much. I adore. Right, so I'm actually going to start by listing out all the fragrances, but I'm going to work my way up to my most loved fragrance that I cannot get enough of. <laughs> so starting with the least, which is actually a blind buy, but a very good blind buy. And this perfume that I cannot stop wearing is my Guerlain. It is Mon Guerlain, and this sweet vanilla fragrance is a perfume that I actually bought this because of you guys on YouTube. You've been mentioning this fragrance all the time, and I said, how could I not know of a perfume with vanilla and sandalwood? I mean, that just doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> um, so, also my lovely subscribers on Instagram also recommended this fragrance for me so I went out and purchased it so thank you so much. I love this fragrance it is warm feminine and sweet and I've been wearing this fragrance mainly at night um, just so that I can you know learn more about the fragrance see how it develops on my skin um, just to really go through all the different notes you know so I find you know when I buy a new fragrance I used I normally try to wear it during the evenings and during the night time I wear it to bed sometimes so that I can still like create a bond with the fragrance so I can learn more about it and so this fragrance actually reminds me of that it's a beautiful vanilla scent um, i'm so happy that you guys recommended this for me because it's absolutely lovely so that's my mongolan my next fragrance is my coco mademoiselle and this is the intense version now this elegant floral woody fragrance full of patchouli and rose is a bright and luminous fragrance that actually makes you feel more sexy and sophisticated very elegant I love it oh it's such a beautiful <laughs> scent um this fragrance I bought earlier this year so this is actually fairly new I would say this is about maybe four months old um so I've worn it a few times in the evenings um but it's such a gorgeous scent I did a whole collection haul <laughs> on my channel about and it's dedicated to this wonderful fragrance I've gone through the whole range of Coco Mad and I've gone through every single product that matches the body so creams, the body lotions, and everything, the hair mist, everything. <laughs> um, so check out that video if you are a big fan. I absolutely love Coco Mad. Um, so this is a fragrance that I can't get enough of. My next fragrance now, so we're working up towards the fragrance that I wear all of these, I can't get enough of these, I can't stop wearing any of these but we're working up to the one that is my number one <laughs> my next is my Jo Malone and this is my Velvet Rose and Oud fragrance how many of you guys out there are a fan of Jo Malone oh my goodness <laughs> I love this perfume this is my Velvet Rose and Oud and this fragrance is just such a perfect nighttime scent it has sort of like a sweet spicy note um, mixed in with the oud and the rose and I just love that combination it just smells so like fabulous it's just really gorgeous I love it I get more rose from this perfume um, than the oud and I, I think I like that um, I do like oud and um, 
but I feel like this fragrance is really highlighting the rose so I like it even more so for that so that's my velvet rose and oud I love this fragrance now the next fragrance that I have been wearing that I just can't stop wearing this is a fragrance I tend to wear in the evening time now this is such a beautiful date night fragrance or an evening time fragrance or if you just want to smell fabulous expensive <laughs> then i would recommend my maison francis Kurt de Jean in baccarat rouge i cannot stop wearing this fragrance in the evenings i'm always like okay i just want to wear this because i just want to feel fabulous <laughs> and this fragrance is gorgeous so beautiful sweet ambergris oh my gosh it's beautiful i love 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 the saffron oh it's beautiful and the vanilla so this is a scent that i feel like with this perfume i know a lot of people are um giving this such positive you know um reviews and it's highlighted a lot here on youtube um, but I, I even think that whether this fragrance was highlighted or not, if it was trendy or not, I would say like this. It's just my kind of scent, the ambergris, the vanilla. That's my type of scent. And then you've got the saffron in here. I love saffron. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think my connection with a lot of my perfumes are either foods that I like to cook with or ingredients that I have at home. And I cook with a lot of cardamom and pistachio i even cook with rose um saffron and i find a lot of my perfumes here mimic my kitchen <laughs> um you've got the sweetness in there as well so i find there's like a little like connection there so with this one i absolutely love this fragrance it's very elegant and classy it's beautiful that's my baccarat rouge 540 now my next scent i can't wait to show you this scent because it's because you guys chose this for me otherwise i wouldn't have bought this not in the slightest i would not have bought this fragrance and this is my christian dior's girl um oh, i don't know what to say this is my poison girl fragrance and if it wasn't for you all i wouldn't have bought this and there's a reason why but I think I might save that for another video because yes, <laughs> I need to go into a longer story with that one. Um, but oh, again, the vanilla, um, you've got Tonka in here. Oh wow, it's just so beautiful. And again, I've been wearing this fragrance and my Mon Galan as a nighttime scent just to um, you know bond with the fragrance and just to um, experience the, the fragrance for a bit longer. The next fragrance I have for you is this lovely, delightful fragrance by Jo Malone, and that's my Poppy and Barley um, cologne. Now, this fragrance, my dear ladies, I absolutely love this perfume. <laughs> now, I love this fragrance because it has such a delicate, soft, feel to it so the notes in this fragrance is quite fruity and fresh we have some black currant in this fragrance we have poppy and then we have notes of barley and barley gives it a nice soft woody element to this fragrance and then you do have that sort of zesty sweet black currant um fragrance but not heavily sweet but this fragrance is like it just looks like a dress. It feels like a dress. I don't know. It smells like a dress. It smells like an elegant dress, a summer dress. It reminds me of the early mornings and it's just a delightful fragrance. It's very uplifting as well. It's very universal, this fragrance. I think it makes a perfect daytime fragrance. And this is a fragrance I cannot stop wearing because this fragrance really um, uplifts my mood. It puts me in a happy state of mind. It's like a happy, go lucky, fun scent, um, but just delicate and dainty. And I really love it. It's just beautiful. Oh, it's just so fresh, fresh and clean. So that's my Poppy and Barley. This is a fragrance I cannot stop wearing. And even for me right now, this is a daytime scent and it's a daytime summer scent. And I'm just wondering, I feel like I will still wear this in the winter time. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. This is my Poppy and Barley. Please try this fragrance. 
it's gorgeous if you like something fresh and clean now my next fragrance is a fragrance i cannot stop wearing this perfume is a fragrance i love <laughs> for the evening time and this is my chanel chance and this is my edp version and oh, i adore this fragrance so much it's so elegant and sophisticated that's how i describe it sophisticated um a very bright um sweet floral but woody at the same time it just smells like confidence you know it's gorgeous a perfect pairing for the evening um a date night again it's gorgeous to wear this is something i'd wear with my girls going out for cocktails in a bar it's just such a beautiful scent I can't stop wearing this this is like my to-go to evening perfume if i had to think of any fragrance then i'm heading off to um you know i'm going to find this perfume to wear i absolutely like this my next fragrance is jasmine rouge by tom ford this is a fragrance that i cannot stop wearing ladies i really adore this perfume <laughs> Oh my gosh, you know what? This just brings back so many happy memories for me because it just smells like jasmine tea. It is floral, it is fresh, it is luminous, and it's ever so sophisticated and elegant. It is bold, and this is a fragrance that I would wear to many events, nights out, um, classy, you know, places. This is a fragrance I really adore and um, it just brings like so many memories. So every time I smell this, it just reminds me of an occasion where I've been out um, doing something, you know, exciting or fabulous or just wonderful. It just reminds me of that. And oh, wow, you know, I just, I can't wait to start wearing this. I don't think I've even worn it since lockdown. Um, but this is a fragrance that I really love and you do have that freshness. It does remind you of tea leaves. It reminds you of um, almost, I want to say there is like a green element to it because it's so fresh, but it's a spicy fresh um, scent. Oh, it's just such a gorgeous fragrance. And I feel like this is a great unisex scent as well. Um, but for me, I think I prefer to smell this on ladies. I think, I think it's more feminine for me but it's very rich and spicy and the element of the tea the jasmine scent the jasmine white petals it's just a gorgeous to go to scent i cannot stop wearing this this is my going out fabulous occasion <laughs> fragrance so that's my jasmine rouge now this fragrance you would know me by this fragrance very well and this is chanel number no. five low this fragrance is a daytime fragrance for me it's my universal scent it's a scent i can pick up and i can wear it easily um, in the evenings i can wear it in the daytime i can wear it i can wear it to a wedding i can wear it to so many different types of occasions i feel like you just can't go wrong with this fragrance and in this fragrance it contains orange and lemon we've got the citrus notes in here and then we have the woody musky note as well but it's very 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 modern compared to the traditional <laughs> chanel number no. five it's a modern twist on this and it has this element of youth to it as well it's just reformulated in a way to suit everyone and i feel like you know this fragrance once you wear it it's it opens up with this fresh crisp clean brightness but it dries down to this warm powdery note but the powder note is more of a modern powdery musk it's just really fantastic <laughs> it's really brightening as well a great go-to fragrance i cannot stop wearing this and sometimes it's like you know i go through my whole perfume wardrobe and i have so many perfumes to choose from and if i'm stuck then i would just pick this because i know it's going to work well in the day um in the afternoons evenings nights out it's just very feminine as well very elegant um beautiful this is a great white dress ready perfume I love pairing my perfumes to outfits and at the moment because I love white dresses um, I'm going through all my per perfumes and I'm just trying to find the best match for my white dresses 
I've got a video for you guys, so don't forget to check that out. I'll link it down below. Yes, I think this is a typical white dress ready fragrance. It's beautiful, so fresh, so clean. And then my number one fragrance, my top fragrance that I cannot stop wearing, and I hope I don't ever stop wearing this fragrance, <laughs> is my Gentle Fluidity by MFK. And this warm vanilla scent with some light, delicate spices is my perfect scent. The reason why I like this fragrance is because of how it smells and how it makes you feel. So how it smells, it smells like sugary jewelry, diamonds, gold, um, but delicate, you know, it doesn't have a metallic scent, but it just smells like if gold was to have a scent or diamonds, that's how this perfume would smell. Um, also, uh, we've got this warm notes of spice in here. We've got nutmeg and we have coriander. Again, this sounds like my kitchen. <laughs> we've got vanilla in here and it's just so warm. And like it says, it's gentle. And that's how this perfume makes me feel. I feel like sometimes your perfume can just be a reflection of how you're feeling that day or your personality. And I just feel like this fragrance to me smells like pure femininity it smells like it just smells delicate it smells precious um, it just smells it's just ideal I think this fragrance is you know I don't know I'm gonna have to buy a 400 ml bottle of this because <laughs> this is my favorite perfume and I cannot stop wearing this my gosh it's just wonderful it's absolutely gorgeous i love this scent so if you've if you haven't tried this scent before um like i said it, it contains vanilla it contains some light spices we've got the nutmeg and i feel like i can smell the nutmeg but it's not very strong because nutmeg is such a pungent spice it's a beautiful it's one of my favorite spices um and it's a spice that actually Oh my gosh, it's a spice that I use quite frequently in my cooking and it's also a spice that grows in my grandmother's garden. <laughs> so I have nutmeg in abundance and, um, you know, in my kitchen, but you do get the whole sort of essence of nutmeg in here, but it's not like a strong pungent scent. It's just blended so beautifully with coriander. Again, <laughs> sounds like my kitchen. And um, this is just like one of my favorite perfumes. So gentle fluidity, you must try this. So these are all the fragrances that I cannot stop wearing. Fragrances that I am just absolutely loving. I would love to know the fragrances that you cannot stop wearing. And if any of these fragrances I mentioned are your favorites too, I understand why, because they're so beautiful within this collection. So leave me a comment and let me know what is your favorite perfume. And thank you again so much for watching this video. And like I said, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.